Alright, I don't know how this fight's gonna go. Good luck, me. <laughs> this, uh... She's, I'm worried about her specifically. I'm not worried about phase two very much, which is a dangerous thing to say now, before doing it, because I might get blindsided by it being super hard. But, um... I figure the big, dumb fire boss is easy to hit with spells, not a big deal. Phase one and three I'm worried about, especially three, of course, because she closes gaps like crazy. And I need a gap between me and her to cut off a spell in any meaningful time. But, that said, I think when I when I was in coward mode for a bit there, I think I had I was able to run away from her for decent chunks of time. So I might be able to make this work. But yeah, keeping her away from me long enough to pull off spells will be a little rough. I'm almost certainly never using Soul Stream. I might do it against Ariane Dell at some point because he's such a big hulking target that he might take a lot of hits from it. But uh, with her specifically, that'd be the most dangerous thing ever to try to pull off. Probably a lot of Crystal Soul Spear. Uh, maybe in phase one some Fair and Flash Sword because it's easier to catch her. Because I'm I'm worried. I don't remember ever locking onto her when she she turns invisible and you go find her. I don't think I ever locked onto her during those phases. I don't know if I even tried to, so I don't know if it works. So I'd be worried about not being able to get a, get a soul spear off in time. But also she's charging up an attack, so using a soul spear is probably dangerous in that situation. So flash sword may be one of my safest bets for phase one. So probably fair and flash sword phase one, and then crystal soul spear for the next two phases. Maybe some soul masses to catch her as she's approaching me sometimes, but probably just soul spear. Soul masses mostly just a... I think soul mass is mostly not useful against boss fights or normal NPC, normal enemies. It's just useful for some really dodgy NPCs and for PvP, because PvP players can get thrown off by multiple uh, concurrent spells going on, going on at once. I see Finn. Finn fluttering once again. Not enough blood yet, Sheed. My flail? Bring me my flail. Ah, Frida. What stops thine ears? Please, my flail. Right away. misguided ash. Please avert thine eyes. I will snuff out these ashes for good. We'll see how this one goes. Hoo hoo hoo. Hello. Decent chunk of damage right there. Am I gonna get away with this? Oh, he dodged. Okay, so she dodges sometimes. Well, I think she's always dodging, but sometimes she tries to dodge forward as if she's dodging a melee attack, which doesn't work as well in this context. Got her. That was a close one, because I was so far away that she has way more distance to just be... Un uncatchable during that phase. That's concerning. Ow. Problem. Oh. Alright, not too bad.
two. See how this part goes, huh? Well, you have like infinite lock on range here, huh? Can I reach him from here? Yep. Might not be worth it, but I can. Oh. He's gonna catch me, isn't he? That was a mistake. Oh, he actually did less damage than expected. <laughs> kind of ran me over. Get out. Oh, roll forward. Oh no, don't die. That was bad. Don't do that again. Hi right, there. Uh oh. <laughs> That's bad. Alright, so this part's immediately a bit more problematic than I expected. Oh, here comes the fire. Whoop! <laughs> oh, out of magic. Again. Woo -hoo -hoo. So I'm running out of magic, which is bad, obviously. But now he's down, so there's that, I guess. Okay. So the chaos of that's a little worse than I thought, but I also think I kind of blew it more than I should have. Here's the real scary test. Hi. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ooh. Ow. Oh, shit. I'm fucked. Okay. Yeah. More or less what I expected. That's gonna be pro- That's gonna be tough. So... You can kind of run away from her a lot, which kind of helps. But at the same time, when I eventually beat her, a lot of it came down to the fact that I got used to the idea that you can get really up and personal with her and like dodge around behind her and like George getting really close to her was the best chance you had at landing hits and evading a lot of the attacks. Her giant AoE attacks are a lot harder to deal with at a distance. Which is rough, and the long wind-up for basically every move I have is also actively a problem. So we'll see. Oh, dodge my spells. Oh, now you're gonna now you're dodging correctly, huh? Oh, what's up with this? What? Your behavior changed. What? You, you just used my entire flask and I only hit you once. That's alarming. What? Okay. So much for this being the easy phase, huh? What is this? Okay, her behavior's changed more or less. That's rough. Oh, watch out. Okay. Well, shit, this is not a good approach. Where'd she go? Ow. Wow, I'm doing poorly. Okay. Wow. Fuck me. That's weird. Why was she not dodging last time, then? That's weird. She didn't dodge at all for the entire last phase, and now she's, like, king of dodging. Where'd she go? Oh, weird. You also can't knock her out of that attack at all, apparently. I thought if you hit her, you could at least stop her. I never really figured that out, because the entire last time I had to fight her, even if I, if I, if I knew she was coming, I could never land the hit. So it didn't matter. Now she's taking hits. That'll probably stop now that I've um, stopped the flurry more or less, though. Yeah, results are all over the place. I'm running out of flasks already, though, which is a serious problem. What? Oh. Wow. Now I'm worried. 
I thought this would be a relatively short uh, series of attempts where I just need to figure out phase three. Suddenly, like, I'm, I might not be able to beat phase one. <laughs> oh, God. So an additional risk is added when you're playing... When you're playing as a spellcaster, because you have to worry about your limited pool of healing on... of, of uh... of spellcasting on top of your limited pool of, uh... healing at the same time. Ow! Thought I could roll under it. I kinda, kinda got pinned against the wall for a bit there. I'm screwed, more or less. There's no way I can survive the next phase. I have no resources at my disposal right now. Ow! Crap. Oh no, now I'm really screwed. Alright. I think technically phase two went smoother this time, though. Technically. But, uh, I have no flasks entering phase two, three. It's clearly bad. Obviously. <laughs> Hi. Ow. Yeah, I don't know what my plan was there. Should've just run away, I guess? I'm used to jumping behind her, but I'm too far away because I'm trying to be ranged. Uh, now she's dodgy. Ah! That completely screws up this entire approach to fighting her if she's going to be dodging everything all of a sudden. She wasn't dodging stuff at all before. There she is. Way off in the distance. Did she just hit the wall? I think she hit the wall. Got her. Nope. That's a dodge. Oh, out of energy now. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm, at least I'm figuring out how to dodge some of her attacks. I'll just bow. I was about to say I'll try to live as long as possible and just see how much I can learn about dodging her attacks as a spellcaster. And then I died when I was starting that sentence. So, I guess that point is moot. Um, so, phase one dragging is a problem. I may want a Farron Flash Sword for the entire phase. I don't know. I may want to switch to using the sword the entire phase instead to try to conserve energy. Because she uses it all up on. She really eats through my supply. Better wait for her to be doing attacks so she has to stand still for a moment. Yeah, I think when she's in that stance, I have a better chance of landing the hit, thankfully. But if she's standing ready like this, then I shouldn't shoot her at all, because I don't think it'll work at all. This might not work either. Okay, the, yeah, the moment she's doing moves, I'm in a better spot. Crap, she's far away. Ah! I still have no idea what the timing of that is. I could start... I've, I've started being able to avoid it, but I don't know, I don't know how to dodge the attack. Watch out! Headshot. Not attacking you now. Go into scythe mode. Very least. Nope. That's not a good source. Ah, crap. It's definitely not a good source of damage. I'm two handing. Whoops. Yeah, fair and flash sword just doesn't deal the proper damage for this phase. Yeah, that, that's the trick. She has to be in scythe mode. Get out. Oh, shit! It's that trick again. I always fall for that. There's always that trick where I think she's not gonna be able to reach me, but then her feet just magically swoop at me. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, guess that's that then, huh? Should not have shot at her.
The correct response to this phase is more or less just to keep running away. Oh shit, fire. Oh, blue again. Running away. All right, we're getting there. I'm not entirely happy with my supply of Estus, but I'm not really using my healing Estuses. I'm just using my mana. That's good. If I can get away with less healing, then I get, then I can then turn more of my healing into mana potions, which is good because I might need that to I might need that to even do the damage in the first place to win the fight. I don't know if I can win the fight without extra energy. Oh, she heals. There's one dodge. Got her. Right, where's she attacking from? That direction. Yeah, the energy's a problem. I need more energy. So that healing less is good, and it improves my chances of figuring out for the next one. So I, uh... Gonna have to change my supply, for sure. Crap. Watch out. Oh! That's bad. This, this casting fight is taking a turn for me. Uh, I might be able to do this, though. I might be able to do this. Just dodge back. Oh, out of energy. Here it comes. Okay. Yeah, you can dodge backwards a lot from her, thankfully. This is the scary part, is her melee combo. Because it tracks- it follows you a lot. Ow! That's not good news either, admittedly. Got stuck on a statue for a moment there. I'm risking... Oh! Yeah, that was the drink that had to happen. Getting stuck on statues. It's apparently my new thing. Don't take it. It's mine. Copyright. Huh? 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 Uh-oh. Oh my god. Can't believe that worked at all. Nope. Nope! She's behind me. Running away. Oh! Woohoo! Free chance to heal at least. Oh, we're close. I might be able to do this. Oh no. No. How did I live through that? Oh shit. Alright. So I think I might have an FP healing item in my inventory. I don't know. But if I'm gonna get it. Definitely gonna have to, uh. Huh? I'm gonna need her to turn invisible and slowly attack from the other side of the map first, so I can even check my inventory for the chance to see if I have that or not. Ah, crap, that followed me all the way here. Turn invisible, please. What you doing? There it is. Don't die. No! No! I just, no. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. You bitch. <sighs> Does that count? That was <laughs> kind of clutch, wasn't it? <laughs> Using that item. <laughs> Ah, I should have waited. I should have been more patient and waited for the actual scenario I was expecting. Oh, there's no fog gate. Is that it then? Is she dead? There's a bon there's a bonfire there. Does this corpse have all my souls? Yep, okay. I beat her. I beat her. There we go. Simultaneous kill. Those are always fun. They're so rare. Yeah. So what I should have done is exactly what my plan was, which is that I should have waited specifically for her to do the invisibility thing, because that's a very long time that is 
that that is like the time to heal and use any items you want because if you run to the opposite side of the map you don't you generally can't be hit by her attacks and she's gone for like a good 15 seconds or something and so that was my opening to try to use that but she started just standing there for a while so I gave it a shot technically panned out wait didn't I only have one did I use it and then get it back maybe I had more than one I don't know anyway this was the DLC guys we did it <laughs> did it in one session that wasn't too bad I lost count a little bit I want to say I want to say I took four attempts on the Guardian Th I think three or f I think it took three or four attempts on the on the care caregiver and I think I took uh, two attempts on a uh, no three attempts on the final boss so not easy even as a spellcaster but not the hardest thing ever I'm trying to think of anything that's tougher than that. <sighs> was it was it Crystal Sage? Was Crystal Sage harder? Crystal Sage is the like one of those weirdly but weird bosses where they can be su it can be super easy or super hard from attempt to attempt, and I feel like that gave me more trouble as a spellcaster. Doesn't help, I'm sure, that it's probably damage resistant to spellcasting. Those who aren't kin to fire cannot paint a world. Those absorbed by fire must not paint a world. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten, Mother. I can hear the fire crackle. And soon, I will see it. My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting of a cold, dark, and very gentle place so that it might make a home for someone someday my thanks all right so there's our closing dialogue we we'll are right back because the other thing i missed out on the first time around besides the guys the dialogue of coming here first is that uh she gets a little bit of something new if you come back and we're back so let's see what she has to say this time around it's supposed to be new dialogue. And that's pretty much the last thing that's missing. Alright, so this guy, this has been the DLC. Uh, I believe it took about an hour and a half or something, if I were to estimate. Something like that. So, yeah, definitely a quick one if you just play it just to beat the bosses and the major encounters. But still, plenty to explore. I'm pretty happy with it. My thanks, Ashen One. I can almost see the flame. Soon. Uncle Gale will bring me the pigment. I wonder if he has found it. The dark soul of man. I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. The dark soul of man. So that's a big one. So Uncle Gale is searching for the dark soul. And the lore is a little rough sometimes, so I'm not great at picking, piecing together some of that stuff, but... That is kind of one of the big driving forces of the entire series. I mean, it's literally the name of the series. So obviously it's a big deal. And it tells you basically what ingredient is involved, is involved here. What goes into making the painting. What makes it... What makes that entire world exist. And it is kind of one of those things that makes you wonder a little bit. Like, is there... Is there a... Is this a painting? What if... Like, what if they revealed in the next DLC that all of Dark Souls is painting? Like, every- they're all paintings. And maybe that's why the- Maybe that's- maybe that's why time and space are so distorted and strange to make sense of, is that absolutely everything is just another painting on another layer. At the Corvian Settlement, he almost brags that they have the restraint and self-control to destroy the paintings. Uh, when they rot, whereas the world outside just lets people go hollow and the world rots away. And if you can you can think of the relinking of the flame as kind of like a burning of the painting and rebirthing the world too, which is kind of what it feels like. You basically lose everything and start anew over and over again. But it's not quite the same thing. Or is it? Hard to say for sure, honestly. It's all ambiguous a bit. And I think you almost do it a disservice sometimes by pretending you know the answers to some of the stuff because... I'll often t oh, that looks terrible, by the way. <laughs> I 
oftentimes it's meant to be more obscure than people make it out to be, I think. And we, uh... It's, uh... I think some people, uh... Put too much faith in some fan theories than they like more so than they should to the point where they will act like it's the absolute canonical wow I'm floating in midair they act like it's the canonical only possible interpretation of the story but oftentimes it's just kind of arbitrary nonsense I am floating you float here <laughs> huh you swoop down to the actual floor here and step on the steps there's a whole middle part where you float yeah that's strange Anyway. Oh, my, thank you. I can hear the crackling from here. The sound of my home. The painting of Ariandel. Burning away. When the world rots, we set it afire. For the sake of the next world. It's the one thing we do right. Unlike those fools on the outside. <laughs> when the world ru Alright then. Well, that's more or less wrapping up the DLC. So, that's the latest of our journeys in Dark Souls land. Uh, that's, that's gonna be it for now. I will be trying to churn out the rest of my Dark Souls 3 DLC, uh, my, my Dark Souls 3 co-op series, which takes a lot of editing to make, but I want to finally get all that done, because it's been way too long now since we originally recorded those, and uh, I still have a chunk to go, though not too much. We're pretty far along in the editing at this point, too, uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh, one of the things I'd like to do is once I clear my schedule of other stuff, uh, I would love to replay Dark Soul, uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. Uh, I haven't played Demon Souls in such a long time that it would be night and day as far as my capabilities of a player and stuff like that. Like, when I played Demon Souls last time, it, I was just playing it alone. It was like the first series on this channel. Nobody was really watching, so I didn't have comments or anyone indicating what I should and shouldn't do. So, uh, I just went through it in weird orders, orders uh, and like struggled with some stuff, didn't struggle with other stuff. I, uh, I summoned for some, for some of the fights and never got to, and never actually have, there's just, just still fights in that game. I've never actually fought one-on-one -on -one and haven't done that way. Although I did fight some of the tough ones like Maneater all on my own, even back then. But it'd be interesting to see myself go out, go down against someone like Flame Lurker that seemed so incredibly difficult at the time and see how they might be comically easy now. And I'd also love to go back to Dark Souls because Ornstein and Smo and uh, Four Kings both live on as two boss fights that were so agonizingly difficult at the time, years ago. But now that I've played Dark Souls 2 four times, Bloodborne one and a half times, and uh, Dark Souls 3 twice and stuff like that, and Lords of the Fallen twice, no, Lords of the Fallen three times, technically. Oh, wow. Why did I do that? Uh, Salt and Sanctuary twice. <laughs> so I've, I've toyed around with the, the subgenre a bit, so it'd be interesting to see how much I've changed in the meantime. And it'd be cool to revisit a game I haven't touched in such a long time, because at this point, uh, going right back into Dark Souls 2 or 3 would feel a little stale, because I've done them so much recently. Uh, this might be the last I play Dark Souls 3 until the next DLC comes out. Or not. Maybe I'll come up with some sort of fun gimmick for a playthrough. I probably won't do a really normal playthrough. I don't know. Probably shouldn't talk about this too much because my entire opinion of all this stuff will change anyway. But yeah, expect... Maybe... I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally go back and play the first two Souls games, finally. We'll see. Maybe I'll finally go back and finish Bloodborne's New Game Plus playthrough. And... More importantly, the Chalice Dungeon, which still has a few bosses hidden down there I still haven't experienced. That's exciting. Unfortunately, it's hidden behind the Chalice Dungeon, which is not very exciting. It's probably why I never finished it yet. <laughs> There's cool bosses hidden down at the end of a not very interesting part of gameplay, which is the randomly quote-unquote generated dungeons that are mostly just cookie-cutter rooms splashed together in slightly interesting ways, but kind of boring because you're just running the same rooms over and over again. That's a bummer. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching like always. Uh, be sure to check out the Dark Souls and Souls-like section of my YouTube profile. 
I keep it in the description now. Of, yeah, you can get a link to that. That's where you can find my playthroughs of all five Souls games, and games that are similar to Souls games, and uh, even my co-op playthroughs of Dark Souls 2 and 3. Dark Souls 2 is incomplete, and it will never be complete, probably, because it was with one of the people in that team was somebody who isn't the most consistent person and kind of dropped off the map. But uh, Dark Souls 3 will be done as soon as I finish editing it. So, thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.